The International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, praised Qatar for promoting the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Carla de la Peña tells us more. Grossi expressed his deep appreciation for Qatar's role in promoting the peaceful uses of nuclear energy globally, such as preventing nuclear proliferation and assisting member states in benefiting from nuclear technologies. The Director General also expressed his deep appreciation for the generous contributions of the oil-rich Gulf nation in financing the agency's various programs and projects. Qatar's envoy and permanent representative to the United Nations, on the other hand, emphasized Doha's unwavering commitment in supporting the global nuclear energy's upcoming plans. The IAEA is the agency tasked to strengthen the global nuclear safety and security framework. Qatar joined the IAEA's Board of Governors for 2022 to 2024 during the 66th General Conference of the Nuclear Energy in September of last year. Reporting, this has been Carlo de la Peña, SMNI News. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia said the Gulf country stands ready to prove critics wrong about its multi-billion dollar futuristic megacity project. Malkis Akadis has news. Assalamu alaikum. Saudi Arabia's so-called ultra-futuristic gigacity has been making waves since it was announced two years ago. The $500 billion project has earned praise and at the same time criticisms from critics. A megacity built from scratch standing in the middle of the desert. This is the highly ambitious concept of a linear smart city currently under construction in Saudi Arabia in Neum Tabuk province. The 170-mile-long city known as The Line is designed to have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions and will make it possible for any person to travel from end to end in 20 minutes. The multi-billion dollar investment is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 to modernize the country and to transform it into an international showcase. For critics, the project is another attempt by the Crown Prince to improve his image while questioning its sustainability and likability. But the Crown Prince insisted the project is ready to prove the critics wrong, noting it will help address Saudi Arabia's growing population, which is expected to jump between 50 to 55 million in 2030. Saudi Arabia, a country famous for its oil and for owning the largest sand desert in the world, prepares to host the Saudi Infrastructure Expo in September. The Gulf nation announced a trillion-dollar pipeline of infrastructure projects aimed at diversifying its economy beyond oil. Barakalafikum jamyan kanhada milkisde kadi sa bar SMNI. Japan and India pledged to beef up their country's supply chains of semiconductors amid China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific region. More of this report from Diana Flores. Japanese Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Yasutoshi Nishimura held talks with India's Minister of Electronics and Information Technology Ashwini Vaishnav Thursday in New Delhi and signed a memorandum of understanding on strengthening semiconductor supply chains. The agreement between Japan and India held in New Delhi Thursday comes amid China's rising influence in the Indo-Pacific region to beef up the country's semiconductor supply chains. According to Nishimura, Japan seeks to deepen partnerships with its allied nations to develop more supply chains for critical products and materials, including semiconductors, batteries and minerals, as Japan lags behind global rivals in the ability to manufacture complete semiconductor products. India is also seeking to improve its own production of semiconductors as the country relies on China for most of its semiconductor imports. After meeting with Vaishnav, Nishimura said that India has excellent human resources in the field of semiconductor design. He also added that using each other's strengths, Japan and India wants to push forward with concrete projects as early as possible. It can be noted that together with the United States and Australia, Japan and India are are part of the multilateral security framework, the Quad. 
To add United States President Joe Biden and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi are eyeing for a bilateral summit in Washington June to discuss ways to strengthen semiconductor supply chains and also industrial materials and technologies. Ijo Diana Flores, Tokyo Karahoko, Itashimashita, SMNI News, Japan.